Hello, I hope you are doing fantastic and congratulations on getting your kit on a shield for Arduino. We built this shield specifically so that you could save time when you're learning to write code for Arduino. So instead of searching around for 220 ohm resistors, jumper wires, LEDs, getting your breadboard all set up, you can just plop your shield right on top of your Arduino Uno or Arduino Uno compatible board and go ahead and start writing code and watching those circuits do interesting things. So how do we use this thing? Well, that's what this video is about. And we've tried to keep it as simple as possible. The first thing I want you to do is to hold your Arduino in your hand. Now, if you're somewhat familiar with the Arduino, maybe a little bit familiar, you'll know that those plastic rows along the side, those are called the pin headers. And those give you access to the different pins on your Arduino. Now, each of those pins has a name. You've got digital pins. Those are numbered between zero and 13. And then you've got analog pins, and those are named A0 through A5. And you also have some other pins on there. You've got the 3.3 volt, the 5 volt ground, that type of thing. Okay, now I want you to take your shield and fit it snugly on top of your Arduino. Now, if you look on the outside edge of the kit on a shield, you'll notice that all of those Arduino pin names are written right there. We've got the names of the Arduino pins there so that you know which circuits on the shield connect to which pin on the Arduino. So there's 15 pre-built circuits on this shield. You've got two button circuits available. One button circuit is connected to digital pin D2, and the other one is connected to digital pin D5. Now these buttons have pulled down resistors. That means that the voltage at that pin is going to be low unless you're pressing the button. When you press the button, then five volts will be applied to that associated pin. Now the difference between B0 and B1, the difference between that circuit, is that B0 actually has some debounce hardware attached to it. That debounce hardware ensures that when you press the button, the software will only register one button press. We've kept a button without that hardware so that you'll have a chance to do the debounce in the software. The Shield also has eight separate LED circuits that you can use, and those LED circuits are connected between D6 and D13. And each LED circuit is named LED0 through LED7. So if you need to use one LED or eight LEDs, all you have to do is refer to those appropriate pins. If you look over at the analog pins, you can see the analog pin 0 and analog pin 1 are both connected to potentiometers. Analog pin 2 is connected to a light-dependent resistor circuit. So the more light you shine on that light-dependent resistor, the less resistance there. The less light, the more resistance. Analog pin 3 is connected to piezo buzzer, which makes, you know, pretty annoying noises. They're kind of like kids, but they're electric. And finally, analog pin 4 is connected to a temperature sensor. So that's pretty much it with the board. It's that easy to use. 15 circuits. We've got the key right there on top of the shield. So if you ever forget, well, which Arduino pin do I need to use for that circuit? Just look right at the board and it will remind you. So next time you are prototyping or practicing some code and you need to maybe turn on an LED when you get some sensor input, well, you got a couple options there. You could use the temperature sensor as an option or you could use the light dependent resistor. Or maybe you want some type of output to occur. Well, you could use some LEDs for that output, or you could use a piezo buzzer. Lots of possibilities for combining different inputs or outputs with this shield. Again, the primary function of this shield is to help save you time while you're learning to write code for the Arduino. I really hope it helps you do that, and I'd love to hear your feedback. Talk to you soon. Bye.